Hello everybody, Aaron here, and I'm with Lillian. Hey guys! And this is Nancy Drew, Secrets Can Kill. Um, this has been a pain. Uh, yeah. Uh, these old games just don't work super well. Been kind of a headache getting this set up to play, but I think yep. we got it figured out. Yep, so let's go ahead and jump in. We are going to be playing Junior Detective just because uh, this is for entertainment, not for pulling our hair out. Yes. Dear Dad. Who would have dreamed taking a semester off to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student was murdered at the high school last night. And Daryl Gray, the student council president, found the body. When Aunt Eloise heard, she rushed me right over and introduced me to the principal. He asked if I would try to find out who did it and why. So it's undercover I go. My only contact is Daryl, so I'm off to solve a murder. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. All right, so I'm I'm super familiar with this game. I grew up with it. Um, so there'll be parts where I'm just kind of doing my own thing. Yeah. Uh, we have, both of us have played this game before, um, but I'm probably most familiar with it. Nancy, I had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember that you can find the combination in the house if you need it. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. You know, I think it's funny that she says be careful, but she's the one that wanted us to, like, solve this murder mystery. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like one of the only murder mysteries in the entire series. Yeah. Where is it? There it is grab the key that we don't know what it's to. Hooray! Is it to this? Look at that. Yay! Quarter. Nice. Hmm. Nice. Back when they were actually using real photos instead of using, uh, Fake ones? Yeah, animated ones. Reminder, the sophomore book sale is on Wednesday, 3 to 5. Uh, bring book donations to the school on Tuesday. The Paso, Paseo, sorry, Paseo Book Club will now meet on Mondays. Change meeting information on school bulletin boards. And uh, Sigma Phi Kappa Delta could be important. In fact, it will be momentarily. <laughs> um, it's Florida. Yep. Okay. Uh, Sigma. Yep. There you go. We got it. Puzzle box. Ladder puzzle. Oh no. <laughs> Your favorite thing. My favorite thing. I always, I've never, like, growing up, I couldn't get the hang of slider puzzles, but there was, like, a point in my life, I want to say it was when I started playing, like, Tamadachi Life, because one of the things you can give the Mies in Tamadachi Life is a slider puzzle. And I started doing those a lot more, and, like, just became my absolute favorite thing along with like uh sudoku those kind of puzzles hmm. they're super close yeah i'm trying to grasp how this picture is laid out what do you mean like i can't quite see it the full there you go I was having a hard time picturing the full thing school computer eloise drew and password o wise elder i'm gonna write it down for my own sanity that's fair but you probably know it yeah a little bit paintings nice uh, i don't think there's anything else for us to do right now in here yeah i think we got everything we needed um now i have a mod place so that we don't have to switch CDs. Yeah, which is very nice. So, actually, I mean, 
Maybe we should talk, go talk to Daryl Gray. That would be important. Hi, Daryl. You look like you're going to make an excellent addition to Paseo Del Mar High School student body. Is that so? I'm Daryl Gray, Renaissance man, short order cook, student council president, and professional escort to pretty new students. Ew. Yeah, that's a, that's worded a little bad. Short order Short cook? Short order cook? I flip burgers here at Maxine's. Of course, that's when I'm not making groundbreaking decisions as student council president. Flip burgers? Flip burgers? Only the best burgers in town. Check it out. Since the police arrived, they've had every meal here. Burgers are just the tip of the iceberg. I'll make whatever you like. I aim to please. Police? Yeah, the men in blue are everywhere. The whole town is freaking out. Who was murdered? Uh, who was murdered? A part. student named acted. Jake Rogers. When I found him, yeah, it looked fair. like someone had pushed him face first down a flight of stairs. It was nasty. To be fair, I'm used to games where I have to like voice act my character. Yeah, that's fair. And to be fair, I'm not used to like these short like responses that Nancy's giving. I'm more used to like the long winded stuff that she gets into further into the games. Yeah. There is a point, and I'm trying to remember where it is, that you can lock out this entire game by choosing one of these, these options, and I'm trying not to do that. Face first? <laughs> it looked like it to me. One of the police officers said Jake either fell down the stairs on his face, or someone beat him up first. Tell me about Jake. He wasn't exactly a friend. He came by the diner a few times. Nancy, I hate to leave such a beautiful detective, but I've got a hot grill waiting for me. See you later, okay? Hot grill. <laughs> but um, ching. It's kind of odd seeing, um, a two D animated person in a three D animated space. Yeah, yeah. These first few games are rough. Oh man, the second game is really uncanny valley. Yeah. They kind of get better afterwards, but it takes a while. You say things. Yeah, that's right. Um, is it dependent on the highlighted or like color coded too? It's color coded and highlighted. Okay. At A T O S B or is it? I don't think it's straight across. B A G E. A T O. Oh wait, there's this. A T O S B A G E. I'm trying to write E. It could be mixed up too. Yeah. D A N G E R. Danger. Hmm. I don't know on that other one. Yeah, I'm at a loss. I wrote it out, but it doesn't make any sense to my brain. I know we saw the one on the menu board. Yeah. <laughs> kind of weird that you can go up to that. There's just not a, really like it just says one five eleven ten eleven. Yeah, is there a point to that? No, not that I'm aware of. Not that I recall, honestly. Um. Uh, so soup. Ladle. ladle bolt cutter that's right what you mean, you mean this thing over here yes the scary music time it looks soup ladle <laughs> hey look bolt cutter hey look flammable gas <laughs> i feel like osha would have a field day in this kitchen <laughs> there's a code along the bottom of this which that's right is it remember. isn't it letters yeah i'm sure it is um yeah uh this is just like the instructions i, I, I think that says don't forget to dispose of grease or something like that yeah minimum wage is 475 or 515 
Jeez. <laughs> Little bit dated. To be fair, it's only like 7.25 an hour. Right now. Uh, Depending on what state you're in, obviously. You might if I take a look at that code real quick. Go for it. And I'll just casually decipher it, because it's going to take me a while to do it. We're going to have a lot of those codes. Oh, yeah. Is there anything else to look at in here? I don't recall. Uh, I'm going to go with no right now. It's a little bit weird because I've played the, the remaster of this game, which is honestly weird to call it a remaster because they change certain things about it. Yeah. But it is what it is. Okay. Student bulletin board. Find the morning edition and discover a, a another another crime. The answer is in black and white to how to who will do the time. Sorry, I'm kind of distracted. <laughs> You're good. Let's go down this way. I'm just I'm curious of something. Oh, she doesn't say the line. Does she say the line in this game? What line? It's locked. Oh, I don't remember I if she does. I don't know if she says it in this game. It's one of the things that we quote the most out of all of these games. Yeah. In the face of danger against a killer, uh, against a killer, it will, if you dare, a very unlikely couple could be a helpful pair. I can read upside down, but that, that handwriting was horrible. No, oh, these ones. Nowhere to. Nowhere to turn to. Nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. <laughs> and then they start being upside down and backwards. In places. I'm not good at backwards. Oh, backwards? That someone, someone must, must hide. hide Man, I'm having a hard time. Is that R E? Is that an F or a T? It's an F. Uh, L E. Reflex reflects a big secret. What's that? It's called reflex. Yeah. Born with. Born with great pride, a symbol of of kanji. Right, kanji. And then this is upside down backwards. I'm not even going to try right now. <laughs> I need like a mirror or something to hold up against it. Hey, look. This has a clue in it, too. Do I remember what it is? No. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Hello, sir. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Hulk Sanchez. Hulk? Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the Miami Dolphins. Showtime! College ball? College ball? Yeah, I'm playing great football this year. I'm expecting an offer from a Big Ten school any day now. What will you do if you don't get an offer? There's no way I'm not going to play college ball. Unlike Jake Rogers, I'm a winner. Unlike Jake Rogers? Jake Rogers was a loser. No one liked the dude. Even if he'd lived, he was headed for trouble. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice later. <laughs> the way these people speak makes me laugh. 555 five, five, Judo. Mm. 
yeah there's there's a a, a little bit about uh the way people speak in this game and a little bit on the next one that's kind of rough oh gosh is this upside down and backwards too i think it might be uh it's definitely upside down it looks backwards too Oh, it's upside down. That's what's throwing me off. I don't know. Don't fully need the hints, so. Yeah, that's fair. Ugh. I don't even know how to read some of these things. <laughs> There's more Yeah. than... One way to remove a chain so thick as <laughs> aside from the combination. Mel's bolt cutter can Oh, well, Mel's bolt cutter can do the trick. Boy, that was rough. Yeah. <laughs> my my poor brain <laughs> is like words. Oh, hello there. There's another thing over here. Uh, let's see. Jake's locker combo was... Heart of his fame. Just find a phone to to D E C O D. To something his name. I can't. It's D E C O D E. I honestly have no idea. D -E -C -O -D -E. Which one? D E C O D E. D E C O D E. A decode. Code. Gosh, that. I was struggling with that. So I got the message from the diner uncoded okay and it says jake's fate happened deliberately gravity was not his worst enemy yeah, that adds up <laughs> a new face hi my name's hal you sure arrived on a day with a lot of activity a new old face hal. i study every face i see to me the face reveals a lot about a person what does my face tell you you are a very open person you like adventure and care about people open person <laughs> I'm an Not undercover really. detective. I would say she's pretty good at keeping things close to the chest. Very good. How could you know all that about me? I don't have to be a psychic to see you are a good person. <laughs> wow, not bad. You can make a living at that. Maybe, but my plan is to become a doctor. A doctor? Oh, your family must be very proud. Yes. They sent me here to study medicine. I want to help people who are sick. I also want to do well and make my family proud. Do you feel you fit in here? Most of the students were cool when I first arrived, but there were a few, like Jake Rogers, who weren't as friendly towards me. Sometimes I feel lonely and far away from my family, and Jake was someone who never made me feel welcome here. Well, how did Jake make you feel unwelcome? I feel uncomfortable speaking about mm -hmm. this now. Please, excuse me. I'm behind in my studies, and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. But the library's closed. <laughs> You're a bad liar, Hal. Magazines. Nice. Neapolitan. <laughs> Dating tips. Oh, I need me some of those. <laughs> excuse you. <laughs> uh. You did well enough, I think. 
I hope. You know, they say you still date after you're married, Fair. so. <laughs> Hello, there's another person. Hey, look, Pop. Are you the one that doesn't like saying pop? Yes, I hate that word <laughs> so much. I I said pop because it says pop. Yeah, that's fair. It's popsy and cool. Excuse you, it's soda. <laughs> Where's the thing here? I was going to say, is there a... I assume there's one. A hidden message somewhere. There it is. Every person counts. Oh, it's in the side. Oh. Teacher. Side of oh. school. Side of school, side of school, side of school, teacher's lounge. Or teacher's. I was going to say the side of uh, the left side of the thing spells teacher's lounge. Yeah. So Funny side enough. of school, teacher's lounge. This also says side of school. Nice. People. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess let's look at these things really quick. Yeah, may as well. Prom. Gross. <laughs> yeah. Production of guys and dolls. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually Paseo Del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Today, it's totally out of control. Is it that obvious? It's a small school. Nothing ever happens here. A new student is big news. Huh. For a small school, there's a lot of activity. Don't worry. Once this whole thing blows over, it'll be back to the same old routine. Doesn't it concern you the murderer is still out there roaming the halls? Don't make me laugh. Just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't handle myself. Jake finally met his match. What do you mean, his match? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Later. It's nice that you don't have to input the whole number. Yeah, I mean, back in the day when we didn't have to do that. Hey, this is Tony's Pizza. Leave your message. Nice. Uh, I had to. That's fair. Student, Student files, files under lock and key will show the lies of a doctor to be. We got to look at the student files uh, for Hal. Yep. That would, uh, would make sense. Uh, how do I get back to the library? Library? Library. Aha. Here we go. Now, this is the key? Yes. I hate the music here. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Can I leave now? Nothing to see there. That is the Man, same I, section. I remember loving look like uh, grabbing an encyclopedia and looking at the stuff in it. Same. And most kids will not like experience that. Braille. Nice. Hmm. That oh, medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. Hmm. Morse, Morse code. code. Wish I knew that a lot better than I do. <laughs> there. I mean, I was a Boy Scout and I don't know it that well either. Maps. Oops. Oh. The, the bolt, bolt cutters. cutters. You must, must take, take, or you, you could be the, the next, next Jake. Jake. Oof. Who's threatening me? 
These make me think of, um... No, I did not. Stab it. So my mom is a school teacher, and she has, uh, in her classroom, a dresser that has these pull-out drawers, and this is what it's reminding me of. Diner. Uh. Oh. I don't know. I see lots of different words, but I... I don't know. Like, the first two lines I see Diner Diva and then Red Hulk. That doesn't quite make sense to me. No. Some of these puzzles are a little hard to grasp. Sometimes. Hello? Reference section? No. no. I swear I need to go over there. All right, we're a bit over here, maybe. Nope. You're trying to get to a computer? Uh, there's a place where you're supposed to, but... I thought that was the teacher's lounge. I mean, there's another computer, I think, unless it's in the remaster. The insanity of steroid abuse. Yeah, that's another thing that's uh, tripping me up, is trying to differentiate between this game and the remaster. Psychology, Psychology of violence. violence. Yeah. Palm reading. There's also some random books that we can look at. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that was the palm reading one. The air signs, the earth signs, the fire signs, and the water, the water signs. signs. Neptune, Jupiter. I never understood the planetary aspect of uh, horoscopes. Yeah, neither do I. D O N. Don't run. Nancy. Ooh. Blech. <laughs> Blech. Oh. Don't like. They have a good way of uh, freaking you out in this game. Yeah. I think this was the first game. I think this was may have been the first game that her interactive made. That doesn't shock me. Two, three, five. A E. Oh, Jake. Two, three, five. Is that like telling us what number his locker? No. No, it's four digit. And his locker's much easier than that. That's true. It's the one with all the caution tape around it. And writing analysis. Wait, did that mention, like, the double loop in the O's? Deception. Indicated by repeating... Repeated initial half or incomplete loops at the beginning of a, of the circle in A, O, D, G, or Q. I was telling you about this the other day. Yes, you were. And, uh... I don't know how they discovered that. I think it's interesting that a double loop and like an O can uh, show a lie. But um, some, I saw somebody pointed out in the movie Coraline uh, on the cake that Coraline gets from the other mother. She writes, welcome home. And the O in welcome only has one loop while the O in home has two. Meaning that Coraline is welcome, but she isn't home. Which is insanely creepy. Yeah. Never seen that movie, honestly. It's it's uh, it's kind of creepy. I think the book slash the graphic novel is much worse. Yeah, obviously. And I read that at like eight, nine. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I was a little freaked out by that. I was just like, "Ooh, comic book," and I got trauma. <laughs> that I had, need to go over the reference, but I must be mistaken. Yeah, I'm not so sure. The art exhibit. Um. Let's go here to Jake's locker. Okay. Ah, fudge. 
Um, I'm cheating by looking at my phone, but that's just because I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, that's fair. So we saw that thing that says something about his locker being uh, decoding his name. Yeah, and that's right. His locker combination is his name, but using the textile of a phone. <laughs> yeah. Using T9 typing. Oh, I had to use T9 typing on my first phone. It was Same. kind of a pain, but I didn't mind it all that much. Judo today. Unknown winner at the judo tournament. Onlookers and participants alike were stunned when an unknown last-minute entry swept the competition and won Paseo del Mar's 5th annual men's judo tournament this month. Wearing a cloth mask to conceal his identity, the winner who identified himself as Nin Ninko? Uh, Nineco? Impressed impressed the capacity crowd with his quickness and control such excitement and his incredible throwing techniques will make next year's competition even more of a treat will the masked man return hmm. an empty vhs tape case Break in, break -in at, at local, local pharmacy. pharmacy. Paseo County police respond to a break in at the drug depot pharmacy on Zenis Street in the early morning hours yesterday. Whoever it was knew exactly what they were looking for, said police chief Jones. Yeah. They broke into the building through the back window and took the drugs and were out in minutes. According to the report, several vials of Donable were taken. They were, we were lucky that no other damage was done to the store, said owner Steve Beeman. The alarm report came into police headquarters at 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. Police responded and were on the scene within 20 minutes. The broken window was spotted immediately, but the thief had already left the scene. This break-in appears to be linked to four other robberies in Paseo County during the past year. Investigation into the crime is currently underway. According to the police, there was one witness who was being questioned in association with this incident. Investigators are also currently questioning two men in their late 20s. Anyone with information concerning this crime may contact Paseo. Paseo County Police Department headquarters at 555-4855. Should we call it? <laughs> I'm not sure we have anything to report. But what does it do? I don't know. That's my real question. I thought it was 485. Was it 48? I'm just going to trust you. <laughs> it's ringing. This is Detective Dabromsky. Nancy, quit playing with that phone and get back to work. You've got a murder to solve. How did he know? We didn't even say anything. How did he know? I don't have a clue. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> What's up, Nancy? <laughs> You're wearing a Japanese medallion with a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of judo school on the poster in the gym. You're wearing a Japanese medallion with a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. Oh, yeah? What is it you want now? Oh, she's what upset. What do you know about Hulk yeah, Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get a scholarship for college. Lately, he's looking really burnt out. I think the pressure is getting to him. What pressure? Hal is maxing out on course hours this year. He needs to prove himself if he's going to get a scholarship. If he doesn't get a scholarship, he'll have to go back to Japan. That would be a total disgrace for his family. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine, and drives a Porsche 911. Drives a Porsche and works at a diner? <laughs> that doesn't compute. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Later. <laughs> She's suspicious. Hi, Nancy. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? 
Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? Daryl found Jake's body this morning. He's very popular and a good politician too, just like his father. Like his father? Yes, Daryl's father is former U.S. Senator, Eugene Gray. I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Connie told me you studied too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Talk to fair you later. Enough. I must go now, Nancy. Yeah, that's fair. How's it going? What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Hmm, tough time? I heard she's been having a cash flow problem. Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine, real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake Rogers. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? Where'd you hear that? I'm as strong as ever. How's it going? Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Come on, Hal. Nancy. <laughs> Tell me about the robbery at the drug depot pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. Mm. Hmm. Sure. Suspicious. Seems suspicious. Where did I end up? Good question. Did not mean to do that. We're just gonna. Which pain is it? Commit a, <laughs> Commit a, a crime. Okay. That's probably Braille. Yeah, you're probably right. Could be wrong, but. Oh no. <sighs> I got nothing as to why. To what that is. I'm not good at sign I, language. I used to know my sign language alphabet, but I'm really rusty, I'm it's afraid. Like o W. Looks like A. A. E. Yeah. I honestly do not yeah, I'm remember. Not sure. <laughs> A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a greater size. This essay looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. That doesn't bode well.
Come on, there we go. Oh, wise <laughs> elder. To do list locate missing book or order replacement for English essays through the ages. Gather donations for sophomore book sale. Update meeting information for Poseo Book Club. Take down student art exhibit on Friday. Have library computers networked with school. Clean stairwell near cafeteria. Repair locks on geolab door. Check ADA requirements for doors. Call Dylan HVAC for boiler service. Change password to boiler room door. Not available. Not available. Don't need the help system. Maintenance is note. Eloise Drew, just to let you know, the main lights were left on in the library the past two nights. Thank you for attention to this matter. Doyle Burnett, head of security. Okay. What printed out? Oh, the security detail report. Lights left on the library, sent email to E. Drew. All outer entrance doors locked, uh, checked and locked. Backpack belonging to Connie Watson found in the student union place and lost and found. Several outside security lights are on. Are out. Work order submitted. Toolbox from Dylan HVAC service left in uh, boiler room. Left note for maintenance. Trolled outside grounds on foot. Dumpsters by cafeteria were not properly secured. Several raccoons in the area. I've sent note to kitchen staff to secure dumpsters. This needs to be addressed. Served young man. Peering through a school entrance doorway, he identified himself as an exchange student who was trying to retrieve his homework. I let him in and escorted him to his locker and escorted him out of the building. Hmm. Observed, uh, at approximately 8.30 p.m., I overheard two individuals arguing in the video lab room on the first floor. When I approached the lab, two males exited from the door and ran down the hall towards the school entrance when they saw me. The first male was approximately 5'5", five five, uh, 120 pounds, red hair, five, 15 to 18 years old. He wore a green windbreaker and jeans. The second male was older and heavy set, 25 to 30 years old. He, uh, the younger male ran out uh, through the school exit while the older male continued down the hallway. I pursued the older male who could not locate him after he turned the corner. The exit near the boiler room had already been locked, so I suspected the trespasser had a key to open it. A work order for the lock to be changed has been submitted. No equipment appeared to be analyzed or missing in the video lab. I left a message with L. Stevens about the incident. About several students soaping teachers lounge windows students admitted they were engaging in a senior prank i instructed the students to clean the windows and to leave campus the students involved were daryl gray lelena morgan lionel ibsen linda taka taika mm -hmm. odelia carson and neil hendrickson the students names have been given to principal pardon fixed running toilet on second floor restroom acme Dis digital security form hmm. Uh, if you want to take a look at that message again, I have a reference up in sign language. Let's see. So, pretty sure that's O and W. That looks like an A to me. Uh, S. Um, was. Yeah. O was. And then I. What's that? One? The M. Uh, this is a little tricky. It's hard to tell when they're when it's side view. Yeah. Because I don't know how many fingers are over the thumb, which indicates between M and N. Similarly, it's M, because they're both the same. Yeah. Um, another O. Uh, e. Yeah, E. M. And that last one is T. T. I have no idea. I think you're supposed to put move them. Like do it. So O, I, M M C E. It doesn't really spell anything. I don't know. It's confusing. Okay. 
Well, that's uh, probably going to do it for today. Uh, if you enjoyed, please let us know, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.